Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to midfield for tonight's coin toss. They need to find a way to get to, to be at least two and one after that. End around to Archer with a block out front. It's a good one. 35-30 down the near sidelines. 25-20 inside the 15-yard line. Big block out on the flat, springing Archer free, and that's his best run of the night. I think it was good. You know, I mean, we still got a long way to go in, in that aspect, but um, I think they're getting better, especially when you look at that first unit. They're getting better. They got, a, again, a long way to go, but we'll get there. But satisfied with them, and, you know, the young kids are continue to get better, but they are young, so it's going to take a little bit of time, you know. So we got to uh, this port. This summer is going to be very important for them as far as getting strong. And once they get that strength, I think they're going to be very, very good players. You know, at that receiving core, depending on what we do, all those guys have a role, and all of them have to feel their role and embrace their role. And, and we have enough room for all of them. So if they, as they continue to get better, we'll find different roles for them. But at this point in time, they all feel their roles and they do a good job with it. Out now looks middle, lets it fly, and he fits that ball into a tight window, touchdown! Oh, what he just sings oh, it right into the hands of William Woods touchdown. for the touchdown. It's his first, William Woods. and the blue team continues the onslaught. When I'm talking about attitude, I'm talking about championship attitude. You know, don't wait until a certain time to have that type of attitude. This is the way we play football. This is the way we play football all the time, and that's where we got to continue to get that mindset of not in certain modes. You know, championship teams play a certain way all the time. And that's what we got to continue to get to that championship mode. Early when I was over okay. there in game two. Baseball team won today over BG 3-1. Here's a side pass or screen pass in the middle. It's picked off. It's a pick six. Into the end zone. A defensive score for the Blue Squad. That's Andrew Christopher, the fifth year senior defensive end. I think Steve Pocket 17 of it. <laughs> First down and 10, and in the middle, Trayon shakes and drives down inside the 10-yard line where it'll be. Oh, yeah, I feel pretty good. Um, coach calling my numbers, so it just gave me motivation to work harder and just lose more weight and just tell me, just tell, just listen to him what he got to say to me. I was, I was, I was a little dinged up from uh, spring practice. He just banged. I was not like on the back. All the other backs got hurt, so I was just grinding by myself. Today, I start slow, but I picked it up at the end, so I feel real good. I just now I just need to start starting off harder than I finish. So it was a different type of coaching style. It was just Coach Sharp was just real tough, and Coach Coach Haynes just was zoning. Like it was crazy. <laughs> and they got the tight end Peyton. Here's the turn and the give to Trey on five. Lowers the shoulder, lowers the boom, and he's in. Touchdown. Durham with his second. And oh, Colin, he's he doing pretty good. Uh, he's stepping up in um, Spencer's shoes, so I think he'll be actually better than Spencer, so he's pretty good, and he can, he can run out the pocket when we need it. So he's doing pretty good this year, though. Carrick Roan. Right, appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. All right, yep. Gordon Italiano recognized for the Reed Award. And Pat McShane will jog out and be recognized. So congratulations. To the award winners, um, it was given to the upperclassmen who, did, you know, showed leadership, uh, courage, you know, hard work, and um, it just it's a real honor to get that award. I was really honored, so um, yeah, it was awesome. Every day I try to come out here and just, you know, um, just take every day and get better every day, and help all my teammates and the, the whole offensive line get better every day. Because I knew if we had one day that we weren't, you know, getting better or just if we were slacking, it wasn't going to do the job. So we had to get, come out and get better every day, and I really try to do that with the team. The practice is a little more, a little more intense, but I love it. You know, love this new coaching staff. Coach Clark is awesome. He's, you know, I've, I've been with four offensive line coaches in my five years of college, and Coach Clark has got to be one of the best. He, you know, he's developing young guys. He really knows what he's doing. So, yeah, I like it. I mean, I, we know, you know, we know what happened last year, and you know, it's kind of given us some confidence, some swag. This, this spring, but it's a whole new year, so we gotta we gotta put, put put last year behind us, and you know we want to win a match championship this year. We want to win a bowl game, so that's that's our goals right now. We're all together. Let's go for the K S U. There we go, baby.